Your Notes episode 88, same time community icon coloring. A quick I Do Notes podcast, wanted everyone to see something a little fun you can do uh, with your same time buddy list. If you have multiple communities in your same time environment where you're connecting to things like the greenhouse and bleed yellow and your primary community, they all look the same throughout your list. You can use public groups or you can mix and match putting people together across multiple communities in one group, but then it's hard to tell what community they're from. Same time gives you the ability to actually color and label the community icons as well as how the people show up in your certain views like your inbox, anywhere where there's a presence view. So what I've given you is in this posting alone, a whole listing, and these look a little fuzzy because they're so blown up right here, but they're actually 16 by 16 PNG files, high quality ones, that give you different options and you can play around with for setting different ones for different communities. And what you do, easy enough, is inside of your same time contacts and your client, this also works in the standalone same time connect, inside your preferences for same time, which will be a huge section as you can see, that you have everything to deal with, you're able to actually go in and dealing with your communities themselves, Pick the community that you want to work with. So let's say Bleed Yellow. Bleed Yellow is a community that shows you your login information. Well, there's a tab here for icon, and these are the standard icons that show up. You're able to add an icon, as it says, 16 by 16. So all the ones I give you are 16 by 16. So you'll actually go in to these, and if I can scroll down a little bit for you, I have a folder already pre-built for this. gives us all our choices in here. Like I said, once again, they're a little bit big, but not a problem at all. So I'll grab, there's a yellow one in here for, I believe we're logging into Bleed Yellow. So we'll give that one the yellow icon. And you'll see it now shows in the list. So I'll select that. So now it's going to be yellow for me. And you know what? I'll do the same for uh, one of the other ones on the outside. For the greenhouse itself, let's go ahead and give them a green one. I can add one more icon in there. We'll give it the bright green. So I could do this for all my communities, anything I want to do. You can have fun with them. You can add multiple ones, whichever one you want to do. Now, there's one other thing you also need to do inside of this is inside of your contact list itself, you need to show server community icons beneath the contacts to see them appropriately. By default, it's off. You turn it on. You can set the transparency to how far down it is. So what you'll get now, we'll say apply. What you'll get now is colored different icons for each community. This also shows beneath the, beneath the people's names now when you log in to them. So for Bleed Yellow itself, we'll go ahead and we'll log into Bleed Yellow. So everyone knows you can find me on Bleed Yellow. As you can see, you can find me on Bleed Yellow. It turns with the yellow in the background. You still get the awareness icon on the front. And then everybody behind it, you see the transparency is there. You now start to get a nice transparency of which one. So when you build groups that are now spread across multiple communities, you can actually see which community the person is connected from. Just a quick tip from I Do Notes.